it's a great day. Great day in Tennessee. The shine is sunning. I can't even speak anymore. The sun is shining. And yeah, we're about to go get some groceries. But today's video, I basically want to talk about why Sui Gaming will be the next chain to pop off and why I'm so much more bullish on Sui. Let's get it. So the first thing I feel like why Sui Gaming will really take off in the next one to five years is if you guys didn't already see, they're coming out with a gaming console that you're able to use with Web 2 and Web 3 games. So if I want to play League of Legends on this mobile device, I'm able to do that. And the best part is we're able to integrate ZK login so anybody can create a SWE wallet with just a Gmail, Twitch, or even Facebook. And probably my second favorite feature is the language move. And the best part is it's very secure and user friendly with a easy UI to understand from let's say a language of Rust on Solana. The SWE ecosystem probably has one of the best UIs and easeability of creating a wallet just like I said with ZK login and it's just probably the easiest thing to onboard the next billion of users to make gaming seamless and not even know you're actually playing a web3 game. This is actually pretty fun. Uh, I definitely appreciate uh, the roommate recording. Thank you so much. But I feel like probably my favorite thing is just really how good our TPS is and how it basically will scale as Sui keeps growing and becoming bigger and better. And if you guys don't already know, Sui will hit one year old next month. And the best part is we have had zero downtime. Not once has Sui gone down. The best part is, like I said, TPS, it's not capped. So it will only actually become bigger and better. And another feature that I truly do enjoy is how fast the metadata and NFTs are structured to actually pursue dynamic NFTs. So everyone talks about dynamic NFTs, but what exactly is that? It's basically when your NFT evolves. So let's say that you have a sword and you complete a mission in a game and you level up that character. Once you level up that character, your sword is basically a level two. Let's say it's a sword with fire. That would basically almost instantly update in five to 15 seconds. And then you have your in-game item changing and evolving. And the best part is with Web3, we have marketplaces. So if you do decide to, you know what, I don't want this item anymore, I already leveled it up enough, you could then sell that NFT or sword for actual profit on a sweet marketplace. And probably the last thing I do want to talk about is going to be gas fees. So with a lot of other chains, you're not sure what your gas fee will actually be. The, the best part is we have very, very, very low cost gas fees, which are a huge plus compared to chains like Ethereum, where honestly you could spend 50 to $100 on one transaction. With SWE, I'm not gonna go. Um, but basically, just like I was saying, with the whole estimated gas fees, they are an exact fee every single time. So you know what you're paying and you won't be overcharged and freaking out to see if you actually do have any gas fees. The average gas fee I believe on SWE right now is 0.003. It's very, very minimal and easy to use. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video of me vlogging in the car while talking about sweet gaming and honestly i'm really excited for the gaming console i feel like really it will just bring the masses into it and a great thing to practice even what i'm trying to practice more is basically calling it gaming instead of web 2 versus web 3 or you can say gaming on sui i feel like it just has an easier tone and people are more accepting about it and yeah that's the video and don't worry because i will see you in Web3.